Hey everyone, Tony Avanov here, lead trader and mentor of TradeBuddy. First off, I want to say I am so, so sorry I have not made a video in I think entire of 2019. Um, I'm still trading, I'm trading every single day. I've just been working on TradeBuddy, making sure our members have a lot of value. Uh, we've done a lot of great work at TradeBuddy. We made a whole new course, we have a, a webinar archive and so many more things. So I've just been working on that and I have not been able to make a YouTube video. But I wanted to give you guys a lesson, or not a lesson, but a video on my trading setup. I just recently redid my office, as you can see. Um, it's a lot nicer than it was before. And I kind of just want to break down, you know, what kind of computer I have, what type of components I have in it, just to help you guys understand what kind of things you might need if you want to become a trader like me. So first off, we need to start off with the actual computer, right? That's the most important part. So I'm going to go over the components of what I have in there, and uh, I will have a list of the parts build in the description. So you guys can look that up on Newegg or Amazon. So here it goes. Uh, it's an i7 Kaby Lake 7700K processor, um, EVGA, GeForce, GTX 1070 SC graphics card. Um, it's 24 gigabytes of RAM and a 750 watt power supply. And then the motherboard is by AS Rock. It's the Z270 variant. And then, of course, I have some other goodies too, like an air to, air to water CPU intercooler. Um, and then just some RGB fans and stuff. So that's the actual computer there. Um, I think the computer, I bought it on Black Friday a few years ago. And for all the components, I got it for around... $900. I'm sure if you look secondhand, um, you could find it for a bit cheaper. And of course, you don't need something that powerful. Um, that's just because I'm also a gamer, so it's kind of a dual purpose setup. From there, let's get into the actual programs and scanners that I use to trade stocks every single day. So we're just going to work from left to right, going over everything I use. I know it may seem overwhelming, but I'll do my best to explain. So... Um, these two windows, these two windows, these two windows, and that window are all part of eTrade Pro. You can only get eTrade Pro if you have an account with eTrade. And I think you have to maintain a balance of at least $1,000 to maintain that standing to have access to eTrade Pro. Um, I know that when you open up an eTrade Pro account, it's not immediately available to you. I think you have to contact their support because they kind of canceled out service for eTrade Pro, but it is still available and you can get that if you're a user. Um, these two windows right here are Trade Ideas Pro. It's the standard version. You do not need the Pro version. That's just for the AI stuff and that's just unnecessary. Um, this is $99 a month. I have a link below for that. Um, these two windows here are Equity Feed. This is like 200 bucks a month. And the cool thing is that this entire module here, this from here to here, I live stream this in TradeBuddy every single day. So if you cannot afford scanners or you just don't know if you really want to commit yet, you can join TradeBuddy with the 14 day trial and you can actually use this screen. I leave up the charts, the level two, the scanners and all that. Um, so you guys can just watch that throughout the day. Um, so that's very useful for our members. So over here, these are also eTrade Pro windows, just another chart, another level two for me to look at multiple stocks. Um, this, by the way, is the TradeBuddy chat room where we have over 200 members in there giving away uh, alerts, insights, tips, and tricks. Actually, um, I mean, today on BPTH, we had an awesome day. I personally made around $3,000. We had many new members making $100, $200, even $1,000. And we had one member make over five figures on BPTH. All on the long side, too. So very, very nice there. Um, so this right here is... Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade, it's just one of their tick charts. Um, this is the main module for Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. This is a free program, by the way. I highly recommend using Thinkorswim if you are a new trader. Uh, they have very affordable commissions. Uh, they have a free paper trading software. Um, and you can find out more information about that in the description below. I'll have a link to their website. Um, and then this stuff over here is more E-Trade Pro stuff. And then this right here is uh, equity feed nasdaq scanner so then over here i have just another screen because why not really 
Um, just another big E-Trade Pro chart. It just helps me expand the picture and look at the big picture of the moves, which is, I think, very important. And then just one last browser for me to look at SEC filings, look at Finviz, and then just post up some memes on Twitter. I recommend you guys check out my Twitter um, because like during BPTH, I was posting some funny stuff. So you should go check that out. Um, so during market hours, I know it would seem pretty inconvenient like to go from looking here to looking here. And that's kind of why I, like, I made this kind of dual purpose thing. Um, this mouse is connected to the same computer. This is all one computer. And what I can do is that if I want to go from this to over here, I can just grab this mouse, bring it over, and now I can control this section here. I have a keyboard, a wireless keyboard, and I can just, you know, technically have two computers. I can go from here, I can go over here, move it around, all that good stuff. However, during market hours, what I do is I like to this. So during market hours, I don't really care about how pretty this setup looks. I care about functionality. And I just move the monitor to just connect with this stuff here. I can still use this keyboard if I want. I can still use this mouse if I want to. But it just makes it a bit easier to have one fluid trading system. And that's kind of what I have. And this is what I've basically uh, done. So all in all, that is my trading setup. Like I said, I did not want to make this a super long video. I just want to give you guys a quick update on where I was, what I'm doing. I've seen you guys been leaving comments on my, on my latest video asking, you know, if I died or if I blew up my account, just asking for some updates. And I do apologize, but just remember that I am active on Instagram and Twitter. So if you want to keep up with me, make sure you go follow me on those mediums. But as far as this setup goes, um, you really don't need something this powerful, honestly. I kind of went overboard just because I'm also a gamer. That's one of my ma main hobbies is playing video games on the computer. So I kind of got the best of the best I could just to enhance that hobby experience. But honestly, if you just want to have a custom built PC for trading, um, I think you would be okay with having around 16 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe for the graphics card, you would go with a GTX 1063 gigabyte version. Those are very affordable. I think you can find them used for about $140, which is very affordable. And then for the processor, just go with like a i5 or even a cheaper i7. That should just help you out immensely. But of course, don't forget, when I started out trading, I only had a Surface Pro. This is all I did when I... I like learn how to trade. This is all I had and I made it work. So you really don't need to have too much to get started. This is kind of just over the years of proving myself. I've just been able to get this as like kind of a present and then just, uh, just helps me be a lot more efficient because you can imagine with all these modules and stuff, alt tabbing through all of them would be just no go. Um, but yeah, that's really all you need. Like I said, whole thing was around 900 bucks. I got a lot of it. Um, on sale on Newegg and Amazon on Black Friday, but you can find lots of these components, especially after uh, the crypto collapse. There's lots of cheap GPUs now because lots of miners um, were using GPUs, but now they don't need them because they have no use for them. So there's lots of secondhand ones you can find on eBay, on Craigslist. So just make sure that you uh, you do your research and find the best deal possible. But yeah, that's really it. Oh, and, and one more thing. I want to show you this real quick. Um, I just made this document today called the Trade Buddy Trading Checklist. And uh, I just made it today in pre-market. And it's very, very useful if you are a new trader who is kind of struggling with, um, with planning your trades. So it has an entire checklist. And essentially, the more boxes that you check, the higher probability of success on this trade goes. So if you want this checklist, I'm giving it away for free. All you need to do is sign up for my workshop. Um, it actually is a very good value because it has three exclusive lessons just in that workshop. Um, all you need to do is click the first link down below and you can get this PDF. You can get a PDF of the top 10 trading strategies of 2018. And then like I said, you can get access to those three trading workshop videos. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I do apologize for my absence, but hopefully I'll be here making some more videos in the future. Like I said, let me know down below what videos you would like to see from me. And also let me know what you're trading with right now, because honestly, when I started out, 
I only had, I only had this thing right here. I started out with this, just a Surface Pro with nothing on it. So you don't need much. If you just want to start out, you don't need much. I had just this, it was like 400 bucks um, and it worked. Of course, having more screen space is very valuable. So if you can get some more extra screens off of um, Craigslist, Goodwill or whatever, um, that is gonna be a good option for you. All right, take care guys.